Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Esther and with me is Sandra and this is called Digestion SOS. Especially handy around Christmas time, of course, but any other festivity dinners, um, this will be of use. Um, we're going to you start in hero's pose, which is this pose, the way we're sitting on our heels. And you can also place, if this is uncomfortable, a blanket between your heels and your hips. You can stay here for three to five minutes. And this pose is great anytime during dinner, right after dinner, right before dinner, and it will really get the digestive system going. Yeah. The next pose I'd like you to do is a squat, so you can keep the blanket, and you can come down into a squat. And at home, this is where the blanket can come in. If, if it's difficult for the, knee, for the heels to be down, it's nice to have something underneath the heels. And you can just bring your hands together, press your thighs into your arms, and lift your chest. And you can even bring your thighs into your side body a bit. Yeah, just moving them in. And just be here as well for a few breaths. And you can really breathe into your belly once more. So that the belly expands as you inhale. And then the out-breath, gently pulling your navel into your spine a bit. At the end of the out-breath. And these poses will all help. It's good to, if you do these poses, to leave 15 to 20 minutes between these poses and dinner, except for the first pose. And then we can take this into a twist as well. So you can place your left, extend your left arm out, hand on the floor, and then inhale, take your right arm up and twist a little, twist open to the right. Inhale here. Press into your feet. Exhale, bring your right hand down. Extend your right arm out and inhale, take your left arm up and twist to the left. Press your right leg into your right arm and arm into the leg and press down through the feet. Inhale, open. Exhale, come back. Okay, and then you can lower down onto the floor and extend your legs out in front of you for Paschimottanasana. So at home, if you find it difficult to lift your spine out of your hips, then you need to be sitting up on that blanket or block, or even bending your knees like this, and that's okay. So you can do it with straight legs, Sandra, I'll show this variation. So inhale, finding length, and really tilting your hips so that your lower back moves into the spine, and then on and out breath, fold over the legs. Or you can even have your feet flexed probably better and have the knees bent, like that. So the stretch in the back of the legs will be a little less if you've got your knees bent, but the back will be safe and that's more important. So straight legs or knees bent, it's all good. Inhale, find length along the front of the body. So open your chest a bit and look forward, Sandra. Yeah, take your shoulders back. Mm -hmm. And then on an out breath, drawing the body down a little bit more. Keep the spine nice and long and the neck in line with the spine, perfect. And stay here for a couple of breaths. So Paschimottanasana, seated forward, bent, um, stimulates the organs. And all these poses stimulate the kidney and the liver. And those two organs are important for digestion. So one more breath. Exhaling, then next, press the sit bones down. Inhaling, come back up. And then we're going to leave the left leg and bring the right foot on the outside of your left leg, a little knee height or a little higher. Inhale, push the knee down and find length. Exhale, place your right hand behind you. Inhale, take your left arm up, find length. And exhale, twist over to your right. And you can either bring your elbow on the outside of the knee or just hug that leg. So whatever cho choice you make, important is that the lower back really like with Sandra happens, really comes in so that the spine stays long. And if you can't do that, sit up on a blanket, a block, or um, yeah, you need to sit up on something. So you twist from the left to the right. So the left side body, back body firms in and the right receives it. So gently take another breath, ground both hips down, especially the outer right hip, ground it into the floor, inhaling, and exhaling, gently come back to central. Yeah. Extend your right leg. 
And then the left foot on the outside of the right leg. And again, inhale first, you find length, grounding down through that knee. And then place your left hand behind you already. Inhale, take your right arm up. And now twist from the down to the top. So from the belly twisting, the mid body hugging or elbow on the outside. And then the last thing that twists is your head. So you're twisting from the right to the left. So firm the back body, the right side of the back body in. The left side receives it. And keep lengthening through the spine. Keep the breath going. Your right leg is active. Toes are pointing up, extending away through the heel. And you're grounding through the outer left hip. And gently come back. From here, we're going to come and lie on the back. Yeah. And bring the knees into your chest. Great. Arms out to the side, palms down for support. Okay. On the in-breath, bring your knees down to the right, but don't touch the floor completely. Just little hovering. Exhale, pull back to neutral. Yes. Inhale to the other side. And exhale, pull back to neutral. And when we pull back to neutral, we use our abdominals. So inhale to the right. Exhale, draw the belly in as you come back to center. Inhale to the left. Exhale, belly in as you come back to center. Keep going in your own rhythm. So on the in-breath to the side. And on the out-breath, pulling back to center. Keeping the upper body relatively relaxed. The jaw, the face. It's the lower body that does the work. And stay now on the left side. Release the legs. That's it. You can place your hand on the knees if that feels good. The left hand. And you can keep your right arm relaxed. You can even turn the palms up now if that feels good. And gently place the... Um, you can stay where you are and just bring the knees back to center. And then shift your knees to the other side and stay there for a few breaths. You can even look the other way. And again, just feel the body. And then gently come back to center. And then for the last pose, I'd like you to do legs up against the wall. So we bring in a gentle inversion. So we're going to find a wall space for that one. Okay, so for legs up the wall, you can do two things. You can have a bolster underneath you, or you could not have a bolster underneath you. It doesn't matter. You can also be flat. So if you have a bolster or a, like a blanket, that fold the blanket, sit up onto it, and then roll back and swift your, swivel your legs up against the wall. So you can see that Sandra has it more under the lower back, mid-back. How does that feel? Yeah. yeah? Okay, so it needs to feel good. Yeah, if it feels instable, then have to bolster maybe more towards the hips or no bolster at all. Um, you can be completely comfortable here. So with an inversion, obviously, all the blood flows back to the heart um, without any effort. And that's really good for digestion as well. But also really good for relaxation, because you can imagine with stress, the digestion gets worse. Well, it doesn't get worse, but it stops, basically, and it has, gets into trouble. And when we relax, um, the digestive system relaxes and everything works easier again. So this is a really good pose for that. Close your eyes. Your hands can be anywhere they want. They can be near the head, so you can really have an upper body opening as well, or you can have them next to your body, or even your hands resting on your belly. And we're just going to stay here for a few minutes at home as well. So this is a pose you can do on itself as well, anytime. During the festivities, especially great if you need a moment to come to yourself or relax. I mean, there's bound to be a wall somewhere that you can put your legs up against. Or even a couch. So you can stay here between the three and ten minutes as long as you need to. And um, so at home, I'd just stay here for another little bit. 
And then spend another few moments in Shavasana for yourself. We here are going to say goodbye to you. So you've got your sequence of poses. You remember, you can start with hero's pose. You can then do a squat with a twist. You can do Paschimottanasana, seated forward bend. You can do um, a seated twist after that, a lying twist, and then legs up against the wall. And don't forget your relaxation. I hope that will help you through the festivities, big birthdays, any kind of um, dinners. And um, let me know how you get on. Namaste. Thank you for joining us. Thank you.